Hey guys, it's Arx here and welcome back to my channel. I am finally back with some new Switch review and I know it's been a while. I have been reviewing quite a lot of keyboards lately but here we are, we're back at a new Echo Switch review and this time it's a collaboration with HMX so I'm pretty hype about this. Today let's all take a look and listen at the new Mirror Linear Switch by Echo. But first, a quick message from today's video sponsor, PCBWay. PCBWay is your one-stop shop for all your PCB prototyping needs. They do offer a lot of services such as the flexible PCB or the rigid flex PCBs. Now with the rigid flex PCB, this can help you have any complex designs as it can conform to non-planar surfaces and accommodate unique geometries. Now all you have to do is upload your file, select the service that you need, you're good to go. Now check out PCBoy.com, links in the description. Also a quick disclaimer that Akko of course sent out the switches for a review but I wasn't paid to make the video and of course I'll give you guys my honest and unbiased opinion about the mirror switches. Now I'll place all of Akko's links on my description down below. So the mirror linear switch. For the first time, they have collaborated with HMX as a manufacturer for the switches. Now, in case you didn't know, HMX is one of the most famous switch makers right now as they offer a lot of good switches with a nice price to value and being a collaboration with Echo made me excited to try them out. As one, I like the molds on the materials that HMX is using, while I always also recommend Echo for beginners for its pricing, so having the two together should not disappoint. Now, they also have another linear, Stella Rose, which I'll also be reviewing after this. Let's take a look at the switches. So this is a 5-pin linear switch. It's using PA12 for the top housing, modified nylon on the bottom housing, and POK stem for the smooth long pole experience. Travels at 3.5 millimeters across the switch. For the springs, I am very glad that they have stick with the 22 millimeter single stage springs, but I am not a fan of the 37 gram actuation force with a 43 gram bottom out force. So on paper, it's very light. Switch just comes in pre-factory lube and would cost you around $13.99 for 45 pieces. So in today's video, we're gonna do the usual a sound comparison versus other Echo switches and maybe some HMX switches. And also we're gonna talk about my thoughts and opinion about the switch after the sound test so you may feel free to check the timestamps. Now for the keyboard, of course, we're gonna use the Vega 65. I'll place my configurations down below. Also before the sound test, please do keep in mind the sound and experience, it will always vary depending on how you build your keyboard. So now please do enjoy the sound test on the new Mirror switches by Echo.
And that was the sound test for the meter switches. Please do let me know on what you think about them on the comment section down below. Let's have some quick discussions. Also, thank you so much for staying if you made it up to this point. Let's first talk about my thoughts on the feel. Now out of the box with the pre-factor lube, the switches feels hella smooth and I didn't feel any leaf and spring crunches, just smooth. And the factory lubing on these feels consistent all throughout. Now, I already expected the out-of-the-box experience to be as good as this. I mean, it's Akko and HMX. Now, linear feel-wise, on paper, 37 grams, it's really, uh, it's really light. Now, I didn't like how the actuation feels, but I did like the bottoming out of the switches as you can really feel them right away. I mean, of course. And I won't say it's aggressive, but you can definitely feel, uh, feel the sharp bottom outs while using these. Now, now, the 22 millimeters single stage springs it was also snappy as you can also feel the topping out which makes it more satisfying with every key press if you also feel the springs too light for your preference i would recommend spring swapping them if ever Honestly, this feels way better than the other new release Akko had like the Botany, Dracula, Rosewood as the modes on these just feel solid in my opinion like every key presses a nice feel and give and not to mention the POK stems it's just smooth when typing. Now moving on to my thoughts on the sound, out of the box, it sounds very good. Didn't hear any scratches, leaf and spring pings, and didn't have any that plastic tone to it. Sound wise, or with its linear tone, it's very, very clacky on the Vega. Like this might be the clackiest that I've tried from Akko this year, and I am enjoying every sound of it. Now it doesn't sound too sharp, but has really aggressive clack that I was looking for. It mostly comes out on the bottom outs and slightly on the topping out, and these sounds really good. The last Akko switch that I remember being this clacky was the Creamy Yellow Pro, and these ones tops that out by a mile. This might be my new go-to Akko switch if someone will ask me for a clacky build. Now overall, I was expecting a lot from the switches and Akko did not disappoint. I was honestly doubtful at first when they told me about HMX being a collaboration or the manufacturer for the switch because they might fiddle on the pricing but I'm glad that they just went with the standard Akko pricing for 45 pieces and props to Akko for that. Right now, these mirror switches might be one of the best Akko switch up to date minus the springs. Again, spring swapping them might do the trick if ever you also find this light, but nonetheless, this is a good switch and I would recommend to try them out. And that's it for the video guys. I hope you enjoyed the review on the mirror switches and I hope you find it helpful. If you do, please don't forget to like the video. You can share if you want and of course, subscribe for more. And I'll see you guys on the next Echo Switch. Peace.